Poker is more than just a card game in America. I mean, really, it's an American tradition. I mean, the history of poker dates back before most of the states were even states. It's a game that, uh, in America anyway, it seems like we started in the wild, wild west, you know, the days of the old west and, you know, the riverboat gamblers, as they were talking about. And so certainly poker's been around for a long time. Poker is really at the heart of American culture. It's survival of the fittest. It's competition uh, and entertainment intertwined. It's a uh, man competing against his fellow man or woman. And, uh, you know, it's, but it's also a good time. Poker home games to me, go back to my childhood and my all my beginnings for poker so it's basically uh when i hear or talk about a home game or one that i used to play in it has a special place in my heart because that's where i learned to play and that's how i developed a lot of the friends that i have in life are from a, from a private home game so uh, it was a great experience i loved it absolutely have very very fond memories of, of the home games I just think it's ridiculous that poker is under attack in America. I mean, police are raiding home games and the government's passing legislation to limit people's ability to play online and the IRS is going to throw in a brand new tax on it. I mean, we invented the game. You know, kids learn how to play this game when they're growing up. I learned from my aunt at Thanksgiving. You know, you can get a poker deck anywhere. I saw one of these at the gas station the other day. You know, in some states, this one included, they're sending SWAT teams through the door in full body armor and helmets and goggles and automatic weapons to arrest a bunch of card players. Texas Hold'em high stake poker may be all the rage on television these days, but it is still against the law here in Georgia. Just ask the 27 people here at Roswell Police still being processed here overnight. Each of them had to put up at least $10,000 to play this game at its own website. But they also seized some $45,000 in cash. The players we talked to said the math simply doesn't add up. They arrested 27, 000, 27 people. They supposedly paid each $10,000 entry fees. Roswell Police should have seized $270,000 and didn't. Roswell Police say that their six-month investigation is on target. I think it's sad. I mean, got nothing better to do. I mean, if there's drugs and prostitution going on there or something like that, yeah, raid the hell out of it. But if it's just a bunch of guys playing poker, I mean, good God, our tax money is going to pay for that. Yeah, I would think you have better things to do. I mean, there's crack uh, drug addicts on the street, people killing people, and we're busting up, you know, lawyers and everything playing poker with their friends. You know, just doesn't make any sense. And that is why we need a documentary on home poker games. So here is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to have a really good time because the guys that play in our group are friggin' hilarious. These pricks cannot beat me at racquetball. I love Tony. He's one of the greatest guys. He's as straightforward as they get, but as far as poker playing abilities, he needs a lot of help. But we're also going to open the kimono on these illegal home poker games, and we're going to show everything and take the mystique right out of it. And we're going to correct a few things that have been reported to the public through the media from law enforcement and other government agencies. And then we're going to have a very serious discussion on why poker is a game of skill and not a game of chance. Poker is a game of chance. Who forgot to give Tony his medicine? Oh, it's, it's not even debatable. It's 100% a game of skill. You know, I'm convinced that poker is way, way, way more a game of skill than it is luck. Now, on a given hand, in a given session, in a given tournament, luck is the big factor, of course. But if you look at poker and you look at winning poker players, you know, the same guys win year in and year out in the poker world for the most part. On the short term, you know, a person who doesn't know where they're at in hand and doesn't know, you know, what, what's going on can, can get lucky and draw out. But if we play long enough, you know, he'll draw out once in a while, but over time, you know, I'm going to have a mathematical edge and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eventually grind him down and win the money. Well, all I can tell you is if, if poker is a game of chance, I've been getting real lucky for 36 years. We're going to do a little case study and we're going to follow four players in the local poker scene and we're going to see what they do and we're going to see if it's a game of skill or a game of chance. We've got a number of stories to tell regarding these poker raids and some robberies that haven't even been reported. And then we're going to have a little discussion about the lottery. It seems to me that poker is at a crossroads. Um, you know, it, it was for a while fighting that old stigma 
of smoky back rooms and hustlers and gamblers. The game, thankfully, has evolved to the sport it is today. I mean, what we're talking about here is defending our civil liberties. We're talking about defending the right of an American to come home and risk a few bucks playing cards after they spend a long, hard day at work. It is legal for me to take my entire paycheck and gamble it away on the lottery, which has almost no chance of getting a return. But I can't take $5 and bet it on a game of skill like poker. This film is more than about a story of a bunch of guys who got busted and continue to play. It's more than a story about a bunch of home invasion robberies that occurred that didn't get reported because of the illegality of the game. It's more than a discussion of the hypocrisy of a state government that will ban poker yet will allow a lottery corporation to run Keno in the local bars every four minutes. This film is a representation of who we are as poker players collectively. And if you love the game of poker, I would suggest that this film is something that you'd want to support, something you'd want to promote, and in general, I think that you might want to get behind the defense of poker in America because if now is not the time to take a stand, when is?